skin chill proof range. I've been trying it out for the last two weeks here in the beautiful Philippines and I'm going to talk you through my experience and share with you a really honest review of how I found the products. All three of the items benefit from the same three layer technology that shark skin has developed. The first layer is to provide you with the best warmth, giving you a fleecy layer that lies close to the skin, keeping you warm but also being very comfortable. The second layer is your technical layer and this is all about protecting you from wind chill. And then the third layer provides you with UV protection, as well as a durable, water-resistant finish that allows water to glide away. The great thing about the Shark Skin Chill Proof range is it's all neutrally buoyant, meaning you don't need any additional weight. It's also antimicrobial and odour resistant, as well as being machine washable. So the first item I'm going to talk to you about is the Shark Skin Chill Proof Long Pan. These can either be worn on their own or in combination with one of the tops. They are perfect for either under a wetsuit or under a dry suit, or like I said, wearing on their own. The fleece layer makes them really comfortable, but they are also really easy to get on and off. They have a high waisted design and a drawstring, meaning that they're really comfortable and easy to wear. The stirrups on the end also make it really easy to get these on and off and putting a wetsuit over the top. They have extra durability on the bottom and also on the knees. So if you are gonna wear them on their own, they have that extra abrasion protection. A combination of neoprene and nylon makes these super durable and also really stretchy. So they're really comfortable and easy to get on. I wore these under my wetsuit for a dive and they kept me extremely warm. The only thing I would say is you do need a bit of gap between your wetsuit and knees to make it easy to get them on and off. My wetsuit is very tightly cut, so there were a few tugs on the legs to try and get them up and over my hips. But all in all, once they were on, I was super warm and comfortable on the dive. I also wore these on their own for a mandarin dive that was in about 10 meters of water. They were more than adequate and kept me warm the entire time. So if you are looking for something that's a bit more lightweight and better for warm waters, then these are great to wear on their own. In a similar design to the long pants, we have the shark skin chill proof long sleeve top. So the same design as the trousers and the same material. The great thing about this top is the high neck that pops above your wetsuit, meaning you have extra warmth around the neck area, but it also seals in, making it a close fit and allow you to stay warm. The long sleeves also have loops on the end, which you can thread your thumb through to allow for ease when putting on under a wetsuit or a dry suit. The stitching with the pink design is statement shark skin, so you'll see this is quite a common design, but also they've got the reflective material on the sides. Like I mentioned with the long pant, I wore this top on its own for a 10 meter dive around 40 minutes, and it was more than ever 26 degrees. And I also wore it under my wetsuit, adding an extra layer of warmth for the cooler dives and the deeper dives that I've been doing during the last couple of weeks. Both the long sleeve top and the long pants offer an SPF protection of 30, which is really great if you're going to use these for sun protection during the day. I found this super comfortable and really warm whilst on the dive, and I would definitely recommend if you want extra warmth to a 5mm or a 3mm wetsuit. The third item I want to talk to you about today is the climate control top. This is really similar to the other two items, but has a reflective layer on the outside, which adds an extra benefit for sun protection. So an SPF of 50 versus the 30. And it also is designed to keep you cool in the sunshine. This top is also probably best to be worn as a standalone, rather than underneath a wetsuit or dry suit, simply because there is a zip to the front that could make it quite uncomfortable if your wetsuit is quite close. I wore this on its own and I wore this while snorkeling as well as whilst diving in 10 meters. What I really liked about this jacket is the zip at the front because it allowed for a bit more flexibility when you're swimming in the water and also it did keep you really cool in the sunshine. As with the other top you also have the finger loops making it really easy to get on and off if you're putting a wetsuit or a dry suit over the top. 
it also keeps it in place just generally day to day. Everybody loves a finger loop, right? <laughs> My favorite item from the three is definitely the chill proof top with the sleeve. It seems it's the favorite of some of the, the bugs around here as well. <laughs> The reason I like this one the most was because it was super comfortable underneath my wetsuit. So for me, getting cooler on a 26 degree dive, this is the perfect benefit because it fits naturally into my diving wardrobe and it means it's also versatile. So when I take my wetsuit off and I want to stay warm on the boat, I can just keep this on. So what are my thoughts on the three items having tried them out for the last two weeks? My personal reflections, these are a great addition to your diving wardrobe. If you're like me and you get a bit chilly in a 5 mil in 26 degree waters, the long pants and the long sleeve are perfect to go underneath your wetsuit for that extra bit of warmth. And they're super comfortable, meaning that you're not compromising when you're in the water. I would also say that if you're looking for a rash vest with a bit more protection and a bit more sun resistance, then the climate control top is a perfect one to look at, particularly because it's so comfortable in and out of the water. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you found this review useful. If you have any comments or queries, please leave them in the box below and I'll try my best to answer them. If not, do be sure to check out the Shark Skin website for any more information on these products. If you did enjoy this video, do please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more in the future, then hit subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you all again soon.